Okay, hello friends, this is Rainer again. Welcome to Getting Yourself Organized with Org Mode. Today I'm recording episode 3, snippet 1. And we want to have a look at automatic logging of status changes. You remember the last time we were uh, talking about logging, that you could uh, put a small uh, note into your logbook and write down what happened, but uh, what if one of my keywords changes and I would like to record that as well. Of course you can do that. I show you this is the schedule for episode 3 as I made it and you see you can even see what we do. And yeah, we want to log whenever we change a to-do to a next or whatever and for that we look at this line with seek to do because uh, you know before we just had the hotkey here the, the first thing after the parenthesis is the hotkey and then there could be a commercial ad that says whenever you enter that uh, state then you put a timestamp and a note or if it's just an exclamation mark then you just put a note and then that dash and then uh, that, that dash that slash and the exclamation mark means in that case whenever I'm leaving the next state I record a timestamp. When I'm in a, inside to do, when I'm entering a to do then uh, I record a timestamp and a note and when I leave it to something else that has no entry state then I just record a timestamp and so on. So I guess the easiest way is to show you. Before I talk a lot about it, you, you see what we have defined up here. And here we have an example that says change the keyword to next. So this is to do. If I change it to next, that means I'm leaving the to do state. That means I should record a timestamp. But when I'm entering next, I'm not recording any uh, note. So if we press Ctrl C, Ctrl T and we say this is next, then what you see is that we get a logbook and the logbook entry here says, okay, state next from to do just at the moment. You see it's 12.31. Uh, we have made that change from to do to next. Now. Uh, just imagine uh, a usual support job where you are preparing an answer for your customer, you send it out and then you say, okay, I'm done now, but I have to wait until my customer what he wants to have. So we can change the status again, but now we move from next. That means we would at least record a timestamp, but we want to go to waiting. That means we enter waiting and waiting says, okay, we also want to record a note. So let's put this Control C, Control T, and now W for waiting. And now you see, insert the note for stage, uh, state change from next to waiting. Then I can write send out mail, waiting for response. Yeah, that's it. Control C, Control C, and if you now look at the uh, notebook, you see that the last action was that we moved from waiting, uh, from next to waiting and the note was hey, I have sent out my mail and I'm waiting for a response. And so on you can, it's, it's always automatically recording whenever you change your, your keywords and that's it. So the other thing is when you finally completed the task you want to record uh, what you did and maybe also want to record the closed uh, statement. So we have this uh, done entry means we record a timestamp and the note, but there's also a custom variable that says uh, org log done. If you have a look at it, customize Emacs uh, specific option org log done then you see it's already there, record a closed timestamp. That's how it goes and now let's try here. We consider this task is finished, so Control c Control t 
and this is done. So now you have a state change from to do to done. You can record a, a small note, problem solved or whatever, CC. And now you see we have that logbook entry that says we had that state change from <coughs> to do to done. But we also have directly under the headline we have a closed timestamp that just says okay I don't even have to, to open the logbook, I see it's done and it's closed at this time. Okay, so then we have that very ugly task that is there for long and uh, let's pretend, let's, let me schedule it for one day, okay, control C, control S. Let's uh, think it was scheduled for the 1st of May. You see nothing happens now, but if I now want to reschedule it because the 1st of May is six weeks ago and that's the ugly task and now I say, okay, I, I really have to do it on, let's say, next Monday, then I could reschedule it, Control C, Control S, and I say, okay, today is the, 80, the 19th, so on the 20th of June I want to do it, then you see I get a note for rescheduling. Finally I have to do that. See, see? You see, now it's scheduled for tomorrow and I get an entry, I have rescheduled that it was before was it uh, scheduled for the 1st of May and now at this time I rescheduled it for this date. So you, you can even track those uh, tasks that you always procrastinate and the magic behind it is in the variable org, uh, log reschedule. If we look at that, it's pretty much the same as before. We say customize Emacs, specific option, org, log, reschedule. And you see it's also saying record a timestamp with a note. Okay, that's it for this snippet. You see everything you can do is, is a lot of logging, automatic logging of status changes and so on. So at the end you have a good record of what happened to your task. And if somebody wants to blame something on you, you can cover your ass and say, no, it's not my fault. Look, I did everything on time, but other people were procrastinating or whatever. So. Let's mark that as done and save it. And yeah, then we see each other in the next snippet. You see what's on the schedule. The next one will be about splitting our one file now to several files. Okay, I'll be back for all the people on Reddit that think I'm talking like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So see you in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, for all the comments and the thumbs up that you did. It's really motivating. Okay, bye.